Today, our News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for a bright blue and refreshing morning. It's going to be nice out there. We have sunny skies, temperatures in the 50s at 9 o'clock, but right now it's in the 40s. You need the light jacket out there. For the afternoon, partly to mostly sunny, pleasant 68 degrees. This evening, a couple of clouds, light winds, not as breezy as it was yesterday. Tonight we'll see mostly clear skies, keeping it cool, few notches below average. We'll be in the 40s tonight. And then tomorrow after that crisp start, we have a mostly sunny, refreshing afternoon with a high temperature in the upper 60s. So right on our average with our highs and our lows. Here's a live look in Lebanon. Nice to see the sky lighting up this morning and it's crystal clear. No problems with fog like we had yesterday at this time. 52 in Harrisburg, 47 in Lancaster. Clear, cool and calm in Lewistown. You're at 43 degrees. The reason why? We're changing. We're dropping so low in the morning. It's the dry air that came in yesterday. Look at these dew points. 39 is the dew point in Sealands Grove. A sure sign of fall. This is dry, refreshing air coming in from Canada. So our weather and health update today. Ragweed pollen levels are low. Air quality is good. UV index burn time 35 to 40 minutes will give you the moderate rating today. On our Storm Team Live Radar Network, nothing to point out locally, but high pressure ruling the weather roost here, smack dab on top of Pennsylvania. Now, to our north, there's a little disturbance here, producing a couple of clouds, some showers. They will stay to our north today. So on the predictor, follow me here with high pressure building in, that light northwesterly breeze through the afternoon. Partly to mostly sunny later, a few of those puffy clouds will be billowing up. As we head into tonight, mostly clear. Tomorrow looks mostly sunny. And then we get this reinforcing shot of drier air coming in early Thursday morning. That That'll drop dew points to the 30s, get us in the low 60s for highs. Boy, it's going to be a cool end to the week. Let's talk about Milton right now. A category four storm winds of 155 miles per hour. The track of Milton takes it across the Gulf here. Warm waters, nothing to do uh, disrupt. It could become a category five this afternoon, weakening back to a four tomorrow afternoon and making landfall as a category three storm on Thursday morning, very early Thursday morning around midnight or so. So we're going to be watching this storm coming in early Thursday, crossing Florida Thursday afternoon, and then back out to sea as we head into the weekend. But this is a powerhouse storm, a very dangerous storm, extreme life-threatening storm surge up and down the Florida coast, in addition to the winds and about 5 to 10 inches of rain. Here's the 10-day forecast back home. No impacts locally from Milton. We will have temperatures bouncing back to the 70s this weekend, then a cooler start to next week.